I don't know if you remember, but remember I I had said that he faked his own death to be, you know, to get out of the book booking at Legends. Right. I only said that because I was told that by multiple people when I booked talent went for him a year ago in Orlando, you know, at WrestleCon, and when they said, when they told me that he was banned, I'm talking about people that are big shots in the business. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to name drop up anybody, but I was told by multiple people. That he, faked, that, he's, that he faked his own that death he's to get out of the book. He faked his own death to get out of the book. Now, what that had to do with his mother, I have no idea. And I wouldn't want, just saying with mothers in general, I wouldn't want anything to happen to anybody's mother. So I'm going to take a step back and give him the benefit of the doubt. It had something to do with his mother. I apologize. Okay. I'll... But he said he was at Legends, though. Again, and I don't know. I'm just going by what I was told. Okay. I'm just going by what I was told by multiple people that, you know, that are that have been in the business for a long, long time. So. All right, all right. I mean, you know, <laughs> the... the these are, these are the facts. This is everything. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to lie about. Mm-hmm. If I messed up something, I would say, admit it. Yeah, I, I messed up. Right. And I'm sorry for that. But again, I have nothing to hide. And this has absolutely 100% nothing to do with me. I did not rat him out. out or he assumes that I rat him out of when I have absolutely nothing to do with it. And then him going to say that I spoke to Sims. I haven't even talked to Sims in three weeks. Okay. I mean, it is, it is what it is. I mean, at this point, it's, uh, you know, more of a finger pointing and, he, you know, he said, he said stuff and uh, I guess Russell Khan eventually will get to the bottom of this and... Um, you know, but a lot of the evidence just kind of shows that the two of them know each other somehow, some way, whether they're working together or not is, uh, yet to be revealed, but you, you, you can't, you can't know so much information about somebody that you claim you never knew prior to getting a message a couple of days ago. Yeah. So that, that I don't understand. So that I would have to question him and say, you know, that doesn't make any sense. You claim you just were reached out to him. He reached out to you a couple days ago. You never knew about him prior, but you certainly know a lot of information about him and the guests that he brought in and uh, a party that one of their guests were involved in. That, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, so. All right, Rich. Because, Was there any, you know. Anything else you'd like to add before I jump to my next segment? Uh, that's really it. Uh, I think, think we got, I think we covered everything. Yeah, we did. I think we did, and then uh, you know we'll we'll wait on the promoting of the uh, the next Warriors show for next month. We'll wait. We'll wait a couple of weeks for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we we don't want to overshadow the little May show, oh, because I have absolutely nothing going on until until June eighth, ninth, and tenth, anyway. So right. Plus, I'll, I'll probably have Joe on to do that. You know, he he'll just tell me I did it anyway, and and yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, Rich, it is what it is. enjoy the rest of your trip right. home, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks, Kevin, appreciate take, it. Take care, bye-bye. All right, all right, bye. All right, it was Richie to Greg, ladies and gentlemen of RDP Promotions, and uh, I don't I don't really know what to say. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a little weird, you know, you got a gentleman claiming that he doesn't know somebody, has never heard from him until a couple, uh, couple days ago. But yet you had him on the phone, you know, giving us a lot of information regarding the person that he claims he doesn't know. So, um, yeah, I, I honestly don't know. And, and, and not for nothing. All he has, somebody has to do is send the link of this show or prior shows to WrestleCon and they can hear all this for themselves. There's no emails that need to be sent. There's no screenshots, conversations or pictures or whatnot. Like I said, we only speak in facts here. So if the facts are being said, 
you, you can't dispute. So, again, not my problem. You know, not my problem. Uh, a problem that did occur was with a promoter named Sean Smith. Uh, let's see, what was the, what was the name of that company? That company was called, uh, let's open up that page, ICW, which is... Good, good, good page. ICW, but doesn't tell you. Uh, oh, Impact Championship Wrestling. Okay, and apparently uh, this is the, the the commissioner of this page at ICW Commissioner, and uh, we'll, we'll get into that conversation too because they're already uh, they're already promoting another show on June twenty third featuring Adam Rose. So I wonder if Adam Rose knows that. Um, that this gentleman screwed over talent from the last show and uh, things along that nature. Because I, I don't see anything on their page uh, about the cancellation and things along that. So I'm scrolling through quickly. Don't see nothing, but you can definitely go to Abyss's page and uh, check out the fact that this guy canceled canceled the show, screwed everybody over, and uh, we'll, we'll read a little bit into that. When we come back for more uh, final commercial break. So sit back, relax, and we'll be right back. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. WarriorsOfWrestling.com See roster profiles of past and present Warriors of Wrestling stars Over 50 highlight videos of Warriors of Wrestling events Full length matches Order tickets to future Warriors of Wrestling events An extensive DVD collection featuring past events, compilations, documentaries And much, much more Only at WarriorsOfWrestling.com Hey guys, it's Tennille Dashwood, and you're listening to the Indie Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Sky Wrestling Superstore in the world famous English Town Flea Market. Blue Building, booths 46 through 48. Check them out for all your wrestling memorabilia needs. They have figures, lucha masks, t shirts, retro collectibles, DVDs, cards, and so much more. You can also pick up tickets to local indie wrestling promotions. That's right, you heard it here on the Damage 365 Radio Network, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore in the world-famous English Town Flea Market Blue Building, booths 46, 47, and 48. Check them out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Funkenstein Inc. for more information. This is Eddie Edwards, one half of the Wolves, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio, where the hunt is on! Do you laugh so hard to other podcasts you are a danger on the road? Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. Do you drive your friends crazy going on and on about said podcasts? You're an idiot. Do you have trouble falling asleep at night? For six months. I couldn't sleep. If you've answered yes to one or all three of these questions, have no fear. Here at After the Credits, we have patented a formula of quasi cogent opinion seasoned with shameless in bickering to provide you with an experience that is both AAA safe and moderately amusing. So join the dueling duo of Robert Kajowski and Norton every week for the latest in trailer and movie reviews, as well as the occasional TV talk. Because at After the Credits on Damage 365 Radio, we believe in four things. One is wet, the sky is blue, women have secrets. And that listening to our show will guarantee that your insurance premiums will plummet. 
Neither Robert nor Dorton can legally ensure a smooth experience on the road. Some drivers are chess monsters. Additionally, neither After the Credits nor Damage 365 Radio can legally guarantee any insurance premiums will go down. After the Credits, however, can be heard on the iHeartRadio app available through Google Play and iTunes. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta. Check us out at one of our fine locations, 930 Route 34 in Matawan, New Jersey, or 233 East Main Street in Matasquan, New Jersey. From pizza and salads to pasta and buffalo wings, we have something to suit every member of your family. Whether you're seeking to take out, delivery, or just want to dine in, let us do the dishes. We would be more than happy to take care of your next meal. Our courteous and friendly restaurant staff is here to meet and exceed all your expectations. We promise an enjoyable experience each and every time we serve you. Try our award-winning Sesame Seed Crust Pizza, the recent winner of first place in the Las Vegas Pizza Open in the Artisans Division. Visit us online at sesameseedpizza.com for store hours, menus, and phone numbers or just stop by one of our two great locations, you'll be glad you did. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta, so close to eating at Mom's, but without all the yelling. This is former WWE superstar Damian Sandow, now known as Aaron Stevens, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Keep it tuned. You're welcome. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So, all right, let's give you a little uh, backstory of this um, promotion running. It's called uh, ICW. Uh, It's called Impact Championship Wrestling. And uh, they were advertising a meet and greet VIP package with Abyss, thirty five dollars, and included your ringside seats. Uh, they were promoting this uh, big time, getting themselves situated, uh, pretty much. And then any uh, of the the day of was uh, removed. But I'm looking at the. Active uh, the banner Impact Championship Wrestling Saturday April twelfth seven p.m. bell time, uh, the Banjo's Bar in uh, looks like Pittsburgh, Kansas, Kansas, not Kentucky, Kansas. I was given the wrong information. Okay, which uh, featured former uh, TNA World Champion Abyss, uh, who's our fr- friends of ours, and uh, we'll be working with again in August. Um, and this show was just. Out of nowhere, canceled, and no deposits were sent, and no, nothing. You know, it just out of nowhere, it just screwed a bunch of people out of money. Uh, you know, fans wanted to know what the hell was going on, and the, the the talent didn't know what was going on, and it just it was just just a big debacle to the point where um, you know Abyss put on his page on that same day. And I quote, attention all wrestlers, don't do business with ICW, at ICW Commissioner, you will regret it, regret it, terrible business and utterly unprofessional, completely detrimental to the wrestling business, okay, and um, we could probably read some, are we able to read some of the, let's see, I want to see if we can read some of the Some of the other uh, replies. Let's see. Somebody said this is the same dude. Uh, apparently not. Uh, then of course, you know, um, all the people saying he needs to come to WWE. Uh, let's see. Uh, you doing business with someone who has thirty-four Twitter followers? Uh, it sucks that there's no show. I was on my way after coaching football. 
in Oklahoma. Thanks for doing a meet and greet and being a class act. So apparently, everybody got to the show. 